Hi Sagittarius! Welcome to my channel and my space. Those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Raquel and those of you who are returning, thank you so much for clicking back on for watching me. This is your yearly forecast for 2020. This goes for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is the overall most needed messages for your sign. This will not resonate with every single Sagittarius out there because these are the most needed messages. You may find that um, some parts of this reading you resonate really well with and other parts you don't so whatever you don't resonate go ahead and kick it out um maybe next year this time come back rewatch this video you might find that you do resonate with it that it did happen okay um if you i i do highly recommend you go check out your other sign videos too as you can put pieces of the puzzle together to get your full yearly um uh, outlook Okay, I'm not going to go into all my disclaimers. I will put them in the in the um, description box below because they do take up a lot of time and I'm trying to do this as quickly. <laughs> I'm trying to not make this a very long video. All right. I am going to cover the messages and download the message, the main message and downloads that I got for you, your love scope, your career scope, your lessons Oh, um, your purpose for this year, your lessons and advice, okay? All of those timestamps are going to be in the description box as well as the comments. And um, the decks that I use will also be down there in the description box with the link if you, would cho if you choose to um, want to buy them, all right? Okay, so without any further delay, we're going to get on with the messages here. So Spirit, my guides, what's going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the main message for Sagittarius for the year 2020? And I want to say that when I got into your energy, Sagittarius, I saw you pulling back really hard and almost wanting to give up, but you need to pull back even harder before you release that arrow. So in times of doubt, whatever you're doing this year, whatever you're working for, in times of doubt, you need to just give that extra push, that extra um, that extra effort when you feel like you're giving up. Don't give up. Just give it a little more oomph, basically. All righty. A little more power behind your release, if you know what I mean. All right. So let's see what you got here. All right. For my Sagittariuses, Sagittariuses who come to this video, they keep falling on the floor. Like every video, they fall on the floor. So maybe you guys really need to dig down deep and really go under. I feel like that might be um, the message for the collective is you really got to, you know, when you get back down, you got to pick yourself back up again this year. Um, we've got mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Yes, and this goes along with the download because um, life is beautiful. What you got going is something beautiful. It's yours. It is your creation, your passion, okay? You need, when you feel down and out, look for a different way. Look for a different perspective. Sorry, my cat just hopped on my roller and threw it across the room. Um, yeah, take that leap. <laughs> I guess that's what Octavia, my kitty, is saying. Take that leap. Um, 
But when you're down and out, look for different other solutions to your problem and really give it that extra energy, that extra oomph, because you've got it coming for you. Whatever you're going for, this is yours. This is your creation. This is what you're supposed to be doing with your life, and it's beautiful. So don't give up on it, okay? Do not give up on your dream. Just give it a little more extra oomph, a little more extra drive, um, you know, and look for solutions. See, see it in a different light. See it in a different way. Look for the solutions to those problems. Okay, so we're going to get into your love scope now. Let's see what you have going on for love this year. Spirit, my guides, the guides of Sagittarius, what is going on? What is the main message in love for Sagittarius this year in 2020? In 2020, what is the main message of love for Sagittarius in 2020? Please and thank you, my soul family and the guides of Sagittarius. Okay, so that one wanted to come out. Is there another one? Okay, that's it. That's all I hit on. Okay, so the first one, sorry, my alarm's off. The first one is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So though this message is for those of you who are um, in relationships, in your, in your love life that you might find are difficult. And you know what, with this, um, with this message that I got, where you got to put that extra oomph, that extra, you know, drive determination into it. Um, this is saying, don't give up, just keep going. It's going to work out. We've also got playfulness here. So with these two combined, it's saying to bring like a little bit of lightheartedness to it. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So really go for it. Really put in, in that effort. And for those of you who are single, it's saying, open your heart, be more joyous, be more playful. You know, when you have um, a relationship come in, give it a chance. Open your heart to it, okay? Um, this year is, is the year of 2020, which is like 2020 vision. So a lot of people are going to be seeing things a little bit more clearly this year. They're going to know like where they need to go, what they need to do, who they need to be with, who they don't need to be with. Okay. So trust your instincts and put a little bit more oomph into your relationships. Okay. Now it's not just saying romantic relationships. It's like partnerships. It's also saying, you know, with the people that you love that are around you, okay? Just, you know, go that extra mile. Put in a little bit of extra effort. All right, so we're going to break it down with the tarot now, and we're going to see what this is about. So, Sagittarius, what is, the, what is this playfulness and this give your relationship a chance? What is this about for Sagittarius? Overall message for 2020 love. Please and thank you, my soul family and the guides of Sagittarius. You need to look at every possible solution to your problems in your romantic life. See the bigger picture what I'm hearing. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'll cut for Sagittarius. All right, so Sagittarius, your underlying energy, this is why they say give your relationship a chance. Even if you're single and a new person comes in, give that a chance. 
there is some type of soul relationship here. This could be a soulmate. This could be somebody that you've known in a past life. This also could be somebody from your childhood or from your past that is coming back, okay? You need to give this relationship a chance because this relationship is meant for you, okay? Um, we've got the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Death, the Tower, Page of Swords, Seven. Ooh. Okay, so the underlying energies here, we've got the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. So this is telling me with these two cards here, it's like this is your right person. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. There might be other people telling you, no, you need to give up on that. Don't keep going. Um, these are naysayers. Uh, you need to do what's best for you, what's right for you, okay? If this person, if your intuition is telling you that this is the person for you, you really, really, really need to go that extra mile, to give that extra oomph, take off that blindfold. Don't listen to the thoughts and opinions of others. Listen to your heart. Follow your heart this year in love in 2020. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and Death. Well, we'll get the Queen of Pentacles. We're going to do this because I'm thinking as this being separate. So also with your underlying energy, this could be a Capricorn that you're involved with. Or it could be saying that you need to put more love, more nurturing, more kindness into this relationship. Really make that effort. Um, this is what I feel like you should do. The energies that you should give. But also, don't give too much of yourself. Make sure you're getting the same energies in return, okay? Those of you who are single, there might be a couple of people that you um, become romantically involved with this year, all right? So use your intuition on which one is the best one for you um, and nurture it. Give it a chance. Open your heart. Add some playfulness and spontaneity to it. We've got death and um, tower here. So this is like the transformation of your relationship. Your relationship is transcending onto a much more higher level. One where you both where it's equal, okay? And in order to do that, you have to break down the old foundation that used to be there that is not working, okay? There's going to be a moment probably where you're going to have to, where it's going to be, it's a tower event. It's like a little, I feel like it's a little moment that happens and you both like have this big heart to heart, this talk and on what, you both need out of this relationship. And because you guys do that, you build a much better foundation. You're setting boundaries. You're breaking down all the old structure and setting boundaries within your relationship. Both of you are, okay? And you are having hearts to heart on how to respect those boundaries. This is why your relationship in general is, is transforming. Okay, now for those of you who are single, it's saying there might be a couple of relationships this year that just aren't going to work out. But you know what? That's helping you realize who this other relationship, you know, it's helping you realize that this other, this next relationship is right for you, where you can set proper boundaries, have that firm foundation and transform your love life into a much better, productive, um, happier, abundant one for you. We've got the page of, sword, of uh, swords here and the seven of pentacles. So this goes right along with what I was saying before. There's people in your environment that um, I don't like the page of swords. The page of swords usually for me as a reader represents gossip. Um, information that is given prematurely or um, information that is given without proper research, okay? So I feel like this is some gossiping. People are gossiping about 
your relationship behind your back is what I feel like. And you really need to take stock in who is, who is, who is for your relationship and who isn't. Okay. Because naysayers, um, when you are truly trusting your intuition and you know, this is the person, the naysayers will put that doubt in your head. Okay. That's logical doubt and that's not your intuition. Okay. So you need to really see who's, who's for you and who's against you when it comes to this relationship. All right. They're saying, don't keep with the people who are going to hurt your relationship. Keep with the people that, um, that support your relationship. Okay. It's also saying, um, as relationship in general, you know, not just your soulmate or the your partner. It's saying in general, there are people that, um, you know, your family, your friends, whatever. There are some um, people there that are toxic, toxic because they're gossipy and stuff like that. And they talk about you. You really need to focus on who needs to go, who is not for you, who's not with you for your greatest good. Then we've got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so they came out like this. So this is happiness. This is fulfillment. This is the white pick of fence. This is everything that can fulfill you in this relationship, okay? This is you finding more balance and stability this year within your love life. And this is the offer of a new start, of new emotional fulfillment for you, okay? Um, but you need to follow your intuition. Uh, the sh your ships are coming in is what I'm hearing. Your ships are coming in is what I'm hearing with this love with this um, love situation. For further clarification, we have the Seven of Swords. So like I said, there are some sneaky, gossipy people that aren't supporting, um, that that don't truly have your best interests at heart, um, that don't truly fully love, love you. And you need, you need to weed those people out. Don't listen to the naysayers. You need to deny what they say because they're putting self-doubt in your head and they're making you deny the, your own personal truth. So you really need to weed out who is there for you and who isn't. Um, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So this has success. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a relationship that is worth giving a chance to. Never mind the naysayers here. Okay, you have a chance to be abundant with this in, yeah, justice, well balanced, well um, played out. Okay, you have, you both have already done your karmic lessons in love. And it's like now because of that, because you're wiser, um, you're more balanced within this relationship. Your relationship ascended, ascended to a higher level. Okay, <clears throat> it could be that you're involved with a Libra. Could be in, you're involved with the Capricorn. I'm also seeing um, I'm also seeing Virgo here. So if you have if any if your loved one has any of those in their chart, it's definitely speaking to you. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was a long love breed. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. We're gonna get into your career now. We're going to see what messages they have for your career. So spirits, my soul family, guides of Sagittarius, what is going on with Sagittarius career-wise, year 2020? What is the main message in career? Please and thank you. Sagittarius 2020 career. Oh man, that's a lot. <clears throat> Not taking them. Didn't ding. All right. <laughs> You really need to use your intuition. I 
any more messages for career? Okay, so you got three. We're going to take the three because they did ding. So um, what we've got here is we've got high priestess of air. You thinking logically. You using that logical mind of yours to see what the problems are, see who the problem people are, see what the problems are with your career as well. Analyzing, thinking, you're really going to get into mind power <laughs> this year. You know, I'm hearing mind over ma matter for some of you Sagittarius. It's like, um, like I said, you need to give that extra oomph when you feel like you're about to burn out. Just give that extra little oomph and then let your arrow fly, right? It's mind over matter. You're going to have to use your mind in order to get to give that extra oomph. You're going to have to talk yourself into it. All right, we do have a six. Six is a vic victory. Sorry, I had a head, had a hiccup. Um, tens are important this year, and so are sixes. So sixty-six or ten, ten. Those dates maybe June sixth uh, and also October tenth might be important to you. We have full. Fulfillment, fulfillment here. This is, you are going to feel very fulfilled in your career this year. Um, I feel like uh, whatever opportunities that might come by, you need to hop on them because this is leading to fulfillment for you. Also, um, you might want to look up 44 and 22. All right, February 2nd might be important. And March 4th. I know a lot of double dates, right? Oh, 222. Sorry, I gave the wrong, I gave the wrong number. 222. So February 22nd. February 22nd. Remember that date. All right. <clears throat> Hope. Hope. Just like I said, it's like you're gonna have periods in your career this year where it's like you're giving all that you can and it's like you're getting down and you and you don't feel like you can give any more there's hope get that extra gumption don't give up and let it go all right use your intuition here we've also got a moon and i'm seeing moon everywhere so use your intuition when it comes to your career as well all right, so we're going to break this down with the tarot, and I'm going to know a little bit more for you, Sagittarius. Oh, my God. Here we go. Can we break this down for Sagittarius? Please and thank you. Break this down for Sagittarius for career 2020. For career in 2020. And you know what's beautiful about that fulfillment card is there's a 20 on it. <laughs> it's like you have 2020 vision. You know what you're doing this year. You're going for it. Sad. All right. Let's see what we got for you. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Oh, I'm feeling it. This is going to be an abundant year for you. I keep hearing abundance, abundance, and I'm seeing coins. It's going to be a very good year for you. I think it was a little bit more than an extra shuffle, but Spirit told me, so we're going to go with it. All righty. So what do we got? Yeah, a page of coins, a new offer. Um, There is your card. Oh, wow. Woo, I got some good feels for you. <laughs> Yeah, some of you might be also dealing with a Libra or you need to get in that Libra-like mind frame here. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, this is what I dinged on, okay? We've got the page of coins, so there is an offer coming in, maybe a new job offer or a new um, finance, somebody investing in you, investing in a career. This is a page. And pages are usually premature, so just make sure that this is what you want to get into. Make sure you check all the legal paperwork, but I do feel like this is going to be abundant for you. Just make sure that it fits your criteria. Make sure that, you know, you're you're not getting gypped in it um, because it is a page, but there is an offer coming in, a new job offer for you, I feel. 
a new offer for um, for financial stability. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Coins. So this is you. This is your energy right here. This is bravely moving forward, going for your dreams, reaching for it, letting your arrow fly and obtaining it, getting that coin at the end. You know what I mean? This is you really getting into your energy this year. A lot of you are going to feel, and I'm getting that a lot of you are going to be more healthier this year as well. Your, your health is going to take a big, um, you're going to focus more on your health too. Okay. You're going to, um, probably diet or exercise more or drink more water. Your, your health is going to be, um, a big thing for you this year. Okay. But the Knight of Wands, this is also saying, you know, take that Sagittarian like energy you have. And like I said, when you, when you feel like you want to give up, talk yourself into just pushing a little bit more and boom, abundance. Okay. Abundance, abundance in career. All right. So I feel, okay, so we've got the Empress, Empress, and we've got the Two of Swords here. So the Empress, this is all about health, nurturing, wealth, making it grow, right? So you guys are, re I really feel like you're going to be taking a lot, considering your health more, nurturing yourself more, taking that TLC, you know, really taking care, that self-care it's going to be um, a major highlight of this year for you. Also, if you're a Sagittarius, um, uh, I do see pregnancy here as well with the swan. And I'm noticing her belly and all this light, light, flowy stuff. So it, pregnancy could be an option for you this year. If that's not something you want, you might want to take proper precaution. But I do see that that could be an option for you this year. Um, we have the two of swords. So you're not seeing something right here, um, but I feel like with this card, it's like you do have to think logically. You have to think logically a lot, um, but with your health, you want to, you really want to pay attention to your body, make the right choices for your body, okay? Um, I don't know why they're hit. I keep getting health with this. Um, it, You know what? I know why. Because this is Libra, and the card over here is Libra. you got to find a proper balance between when to give the extra oomph and when not to give the extra oomph. There's got to be a proper balance between your work life and your family life is what I'm get, picking up on. Um, your work life and your personal health. There's got to be a balance between that. Yes, you have to give it the extra oomph, but if you physically can't give the extra oomph, but you're trying to give the extra oomph, your health could be in jeopardy. So just make sure you're giving that extra oomph in the places that it needs. Okay. So maintaining your focus, putting your focus, prioritizing your focus, prioritizing your energy. All right. You do have to give that extra oomph, but you have to give that extra oomph in the spots that needs it. Not in every single spot, if you know what I mean. All right. So, <laughs> this also is with the underlying energy here. We have the Four of Coins, and then we have the um, Queen of Swords. So this, what I'm picking up on here is you needing to, um, if you are going to be abundant this year, if you um, put in that extra bit where it needs to go, you are going to be abundant, but they're advising you to save. They're advising you to save. This is abundant year because you need to save your money. There's going to be something I feel like in 2020 you're going to need that money for. So um, make sure that you're saving and you're making wise investments because 
the queen of swords, she makes wise investments. She knows what investments not to make and what investments to make. So that's, I feel like that's what this is saying right here is make wise investments this year. Don't make, don't spend your money frivolously. Put the money where the money needs to go. It's about focus, okay? All right, so extra clarifiers. We've got justice. You know, Sagittarius, I have had Libra in your love reading twice, and now I'm getting it three times in your career reading. So there might be a Libra that is very significant in your life. It could say that this Libra is going to be work-related and love-related. It's somewhere in between there. If, you, if you're a Sagittarius and you're single, that could be your partner. Um, if you are, you know, with somebody um, that you have to give your relationship a chance with, if you're already with somebody, um, they probably have predominant Libra somewhere in their chart, okay? But this is about maintaining balance in your work life and in your physical life, in, in your home life, okay? This is about maintaining balance. Um, make sure you're looking over all the contracts. Make sure you're looking at the fine print because I am being drawn to the scrolls that she's holding here and I'm being drawn to the sword. So you need to make wise decisions here. Don't sign contracts that are a little iffy. Don't take on um, clients or jobs that are a little iffy or seem a little off to you. Really use your logic to um, discern whether the job is right or whether the client is right, okay? Really look at those contracts. We've got death. So yeah, I feel like um, this is a transformation. I feel like um, some of you Sagittarius's in 2019 might have lost your job or quit a job, um, or you're going to be doing that in uh, January because there needs to be a change in your career. This is a transformation in your career, one that's going to make you more abundant, okay? So if you lost a job or if, or if you quit a job, find the hidden blessing in that because there is an offer coming in for you and you will be abund abundant, all right? Okay. And it could be that you're involved with the Scorpio, too. <laughs> could be a Scorpio giving you the job offer. We've got the high priestess here. It's another Libra card for me as a reader. Um, Libra is, like, highly through your, through your reading here, Sagittarius. This is amazing. But this is you also using your intuition as well. Um, you know, you, the Queen of Swords uses their logic. The Two of Swords is all about, you know, using your really looking using your logic, but also using your intuition. You need to call upon your intuition. So I feel like this year, and I'm also, I'm also looking at the scroll there. There's going to be some contracts that you're really going to have to go over, read the fine print. You don't want to get screwed. You don't want to get screwed. Use your intuition. Use your logic here. Okay. If something seems too good to be true, really go over that contract because it might just well be too good to be true, okay? When you get that job offer, make sure you know all the facts, what you're getting, what you're going to be doing, um, how you're going to, how much time it's going to take. Um, can you balance this right? Some of you might get multiple offers, um, but really go over the fine print. I can't stress that enough. Go over the fine print before you sign that contract or make that decision. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for for career. All right, so let's get into your purpose for this year. We're going to get into your purpose with my energy oracle cards. So, spirit. My guys, what is the purpose of this year for Sagittarius 2020? Sagittarius. Sagittarius in 2020. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know why, but they gave you four. <clears throat> I know that looked really weird <laughs> on camera. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Sagittarius. All right. So there's, there's a purpose here. There's a purpose here for this. All this energy, you've got a lot of energy coming at you in 2020. Don't feel like it's bad because it's not. I do feel like this year is going to fly by for you. It's going to go very quickly because you have a lot coming at you. All right. Um, this is what I feel like this purpose. I feel like your purpose is split. For some reason, I feel, I'm seeing all these twos. I feel like your purpose is split. All right. So you have two purposes going on here. Um, I feel like career and love. Those are your two purposes. All right. I feel like this goes with career. We've got deceit and we've got storm warning. Okay. So like I said, you know, with contracts, um, I really feel like you need to watch and look at that fine print. Like seriously, because I feel like uh, if you sign that contract, there's going to be this immense storm. All right. There's some type of deceit around the contract is what I'm getting. So make sure you're really looking at that contract. Um, two and five, that's a seven. So, yeah, I feel like um, for some of you, those Sagittariuses who haven't, um, who haven't left their job or haven't um, been fired, there's something coming in that's going to make you lose this job. But that's because you got a better offer coming in and you need to take it. Okay? Make sure that you're looking over any contract. Very important. And I feel like that's what that life purpose is for that. Um, for this year. This year's purpose. Okay? Um. We've got the fourth chakra, Archangel uh, Raphael. So your heart chakra is going to be a main focus this year, putting your heart into things. Just like I said, getting that gumption, getting that willpower. When you get knocked down, you get back up, okay? Putting your heart and soul into things, okay? Um, you're going to have to really keep your heart chakra balanced this year. Do some heart chakra meditation. Um, there's some healing that's been going on in your heart chakra, and I feel like it's going to be going on a lot. Um, it could involve a Taurus because I'm seeing a bull in the in the clouds back here. So it could involve a Taurus, but um, there is something... I feel like you and a Taurus's soul purpose are connected this year. Your purpose for this year, you and a Taurus are connected. All right. Um, we've got door to spirit as well. Um, this is listening and op opening up and listening to your intuition. And we've got angel wings. So I feel like some of you are protected this year. That's why when you get knocked down, it's like, it's like, um, opportunity comes in is what I feel. When you get that knocked down, opportunity comes in. So you have to give that extra effort to go for it. Um, and these are, these are opportunities that your angels and your guides are putting in your path. All right. Because they want you to be on track this year. So really listen to your intuition and follow your logic here. We've got um, three and two is five. There's 11. So 11 and five. Yeah, it's it's very spiritual led. It's like there's um, opposition because spirit is giving you an opportunity. All right. We've got appreciation in reverse. So some of you need to um, 
really look around and be grateful for the things that you do have this year, um, especially when you get knocked down, because um, there's hidden blessings in um, in downfalls. There's hidden blessings. Sometimes when we think we want something really bad and something happens and we don't get it, that's because the angels removed it because it's not for you or it's because they are saving you from something, okay? They are saving you from having to deal with something or they are saving you from having to go through something, okay? It's a hidden blessing. So you need to appreciate the things that are in um, and around your environment. This is um, you. This is about you appreciating things. This is about you going with your heart. This is about you going with your soul. Okay, that's the purpose of this year. And I feel like when I feel like this is going to be a major thing. And when it happens, when it happens, Sagittarius, there is a purpose for it. It had to happen this year in order for your blessing to come in. So um, find the hidden blessing in that. Some of you, after that happens, you're going to have to heal your heart chakra a lot. Keep it in balance. Rose quartz, very good. Very, very good for that. All right, so let's delve a little bit further into this. Spirit, my guides, what is this about for Sagittarius? Sagittarius for 2020, main message. What is this purpose about? Purpose of this year. Why is this here? I heard you're getting on track. They're putting, you're off track right now. You're not on the right track in life and they're putting you right back on. They're, they're making you make that jump. It's like now I'm seeing like a train and like a quarter falls in front of it and it like makes the train like jump the track. I know that's not like um, feasible. I mean, and I know it couldn't happen in real life, but that's the image that I got. It's like the quarter fell underneath the track and the train, the train jumped the track to another track because that quarter fell. All right. So um, I feel like it's, a, I feel like I really feel like this thing is going to come around work. I don't feel like it's the romantic situation because your romantic situation is all good. I feel like this is the work situation. So some of you might have already experienced it. And um, in 2020, they're saying, you know, pay attention to the contracts that you make with this new job offer that comes in. Um, and others of you, you haven't had this happen yet at work, but it's going to happen. And you're going to be offered something a lot better. Something that's going to make you a lot more abundant and a lot more happier. Their spirit is putting you back on track this year. That's why I saw the angel wings. Because it's like your angels are guiding you and helping you put set you on the right track, on the right course for the rest of your life. So, dude, you are blessed. You are blessed. Even though it might not look like it, you are blessed this year. All right. What do we got? We got the Empress as the underlying energy. So, yeah, this is all about you nurturing, um, taking care of the situation, taking care of yourself. This is the card for me as an intuitive reader. Um, this is the card of Virgo. It speaks high Virgo for me, but it is also... I'm feeling Taurinian, so Taurus, like I said, with the, um, with the, uh, I, I'm getting a Taurus hit off of this. Sometimes I, you know, that's not what this card means, but that's what I'm feeling, all right? So it's either Taurus or Virgo, some type of earth sign, and you did have Capricorn in that love reading. All right, and then we got the Page of Swords, and the Pentacles. Okay, so, hold on, I just want to make sure they're not digging on anything else. No, it's this, okay. So we've got the Empress and the Page of Swords. Now, this is a page, and like I said, 
with pages, it's like premature um, action. Like the page of wands goes into things goes into things without knowing what's going to happen. They just bravely go forth, right? Um, the page of pentacles, it's like an offer that you really got to look at, okay? With the page of swords, it's information coming in that you need to do the research on. And I'm feeling contract here. I'm feeling the contract, okay? Um, you really got to look at all angles of it. Look at every last detail. Really decide if this is going to help you grow or if this is um, going to stunt your growth, okay? Really get gather the information, do the research because there is potential for growth here, but you want to do it in the right way. Do the research, okay? All right, so we've got Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so how does it come out? It came out like, okay, so I gotta, I'm trying to figure out how to show it best to you to the camera. All right, so we've got the Seven of Pentacles here. This is you evaluating everything in your physical world. Everything in your physical world. You're going to be doing some major evaluation here. Then we've got the King of Cups. This is a Scorpio, and we did have death and transformation with the um the Scorpio card, the card of Scorpio with the career. So this could be you. Um, this could be uh a Scorpio person in your life. You're going to end up working with, and there's Pentacles all around it. And the Three of Pentacles is all about you guys building up something together, building something together. Okay, working on something together. I feel like this is career wise. Um, with your purpose, okay? I do not think that this Scorpio is deceitful. I think that this Scorpio is seriously trying to help you, but any contracts that are made, you really need to take a look at. I feel like the Scorpio is going to help you transform your career. Also, what I'm getting off of that is it's saying there's going to be a transformation in your career. All right, so then we've got, oh my God. All right, so we've got, huh, did they come out like that, right? All right, so we've got the five of pentacles. It's like you're going to really be working hard this year. Um, you're really going to be going for the gumption. Don't do it alone. Ask for help. You might feel like you're alone. Ask for help. And when you do feel like you're alone, you're never alone, ask for spiritual guidance. Um, I do feel like you're going to have to ask for investment here of some kind. I don't know if you're starting your own entrepreneurial business. It's going to be very successful for you. Um, but you need to ask for help. I do see that you're you're off to the races with it. You're really going forward. You're moving towards it. Um, there is abundance coming in and you are manifesting a lot of stuff happening for you this year. This year is about manifestation, manifestation of your abundance. Okay. So whatever comes along that tries to kick that manifestation off course, you really need to slow down, take a look at it and put a little bit more oomph in it. Really look at all the contracts, go over all the promises, all the written contracts. Um, don't put too much stock in promises. All right. I'm also getting that as well because there could be some deception there. All righty. So let's get your life lesson. Wow, this is long. <laughs> they really have lots to say to you. All right, so let's see what the life lessons for this year are. What major life lessons is Sagittarius learning this year? 2020. In 2020, oh my God. They always call me. Sorry, you saw my eyeball. Okay. Let's see. There were some that flipped over in this deck too. So I just want to make sure I'm getting them all because I want to give you all the information that I possibly can. Um, because 2020 is going to be a fast year for you. I really feel like 2020 is going to fly by for you because you're doing so much work and you're, you know, you're generating abundance. You're generating your legacy for yourself here. Spirit's putting you right on track where you need to be. All right. So... What do we got here? 
All right. Which one, Spirit? Which one first? This one. Okay. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Okay. So this is a lesson in love for you, Sagittarius. Um, with the give, give the relationship a chance card. I feel like this is a lesson that you need to learn in forgiveness of a lesson that you need to learn that it's okay to love somebody, but you also have to love yourself as well in order for this relationship to work. I do feel like Voyage of the Heart Love flows, flows through you and to you. It's like a lesson that when bad things happen, especially in your relationship, remember the love. Remember the love that is there. And that will help you overcome it. I don't feel like anything bad is going to happen in your relationship because I would have got three of swords with the love spread. And the love spread was pretty damn good. All right. This is just saying, you know, learn to love yourself and love the other person as well. I mean, I, I'm not saying that you don't love the other person, but it's like you're really your love is going to, to be tested. You're going to have to really um learn how to to love through the hard parts in life is what i mean um okay so then we've got uncovering no this one okay stepping into your power you are strong beyond measure so right here this lesson is talking about really going for it, like giving that extra oomph. Like I said, you're Sagittarius. You can do it. You've got that fire. You've got that passion. You've got that drive. You've got that adventurous spirit. Okay. Just think of 2020 as another fun adventure for you. All right. Step into your power this year. You are creating a lot of abundance here. You are going to have to work on that heart chakra. I do feel appreciate everything around you. I feel like the appreciate the voyage of the heart goes with the appreciation too. Appreciate everything that you got good in your life because there's a lot to love. All right. Step into your power here. Don't hold back. Give that extra oomph. Give that extra gumption when you need to. All right. And I feel like when you do that, when you step into that, you are going into unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. I feel like this is that moment that the train hit that quarter and jumped track, okay? <clears throat> you might be questioning it. You might have all sorts of confusion, but you are exactly where you need to be. Spirit is giving you the wisdom to move forward, okay? Even though it's unknown, it's new, it's scary, you're confused, you'll find your way you will find your way. Okay. And then uncovering a treasure, um, beneath the surface lies great bounty. So this is trusting that you are doing the right thing. Okay. Trusting that your efforts are going to pay off. This is a lesson in trust, trusting that your hard work, your efforts, they're going to pay off. Okay. They are going to pay off in 2020. You're going to uncover something. You're going to uncover something that you didn't know you had. Wow. That you didn't know you had. You have it right now and you don't know you have it. There's something inside of you, some power that you're stepping into that you don't know you have yet, but you're going to know and you're going to finally realize by the end of 2020, there's going to be something special coming to you. Um, and this is helping this helps you create your abundance all year long all year long open your heart to joy and delight okay so don't become too much of a workaholic sagittarius like i said you're gonna have to take um time for your physical health and stuff um also take time for play also take time for play i am seeing play here a lot yes you are um, going to be getting a job. I feel like you're going to get a, be getting a job offer or starting a new entrepreneurial project. Maybe somebody wants to invest in you. Um, but don't be all work and no play. Enjoy your bounty. Enjoy your reward. 
be fun, be playful, but make sure you're making wise investments and making sure and make sure you're looking at all contracts before you sign them. All right, so let's get into your advice, Sagittarius. Spirit, whoa, okay. Didn't even have to ask. They came flying out. Enjoy, okay, hold on. Which one, which one, which one? Okay, Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. This is advice for the year, especially when it comes to making decisions at work. Stay rooted, stay grounded. Ask yourself if this is the right decision to make. And I can't stress enough, look over all contracts. Maybe I should title that, look over all contracts. Pay attention to detail. I think I'm going to name it, pay attention to detail. I'm not sure, but stay rooted and stay grounded, okay? Enjoy growth and reap reward. I feel like this is sometime late spring, early summer. There is going to be abundance coming in, so enjoy it. Enjoy the growth that that you've made you've made, whether career wise or um personal wise, love wise. Enjoy that growth. Reap it. Because if you don't it's like you're kind of ignoring it, and then that's when your body can have some health issue, all right? Summer, bask in joy and light. This is going to be an amazing summer for you, Sagittarius, an amazing summer. I feel like it's going to fly by, too, but um, there's lots. Enjoy success and happiness. Yeah, you got success everywhere in this reading, in love, in career. Yeah, there's a big shakeup. I feel like there's a big shakeup in your career. I do feel like that is is the case, but it's putting you on the right track and you're going to be successful and you're going to be abundant and you're going to be happy, okay? Just make sure you're looking over those contracts, all right? All right, Sagittarius. Well, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, please leave a comment in the description box. Sometimes when I read the comments, spirit tell gives me additional things to say to you as a person because I pick up on your energy or I picked up on, on one of your spirit guides, okay? I don't always do it, but when I read comments, a lot of times, sometimes they'll come to me. So if you, you know, leave it in the comment, I'll comment back. I try to answer them all, okay? <laughs> well, you have a lovely, joyful 2020. This looks very happy and abundant and successful year for you. All right, Sagittarius? Well, until my next video, take care.